wait a minute. Oh no, this is broke too. Taking the clob buster out here. Let's see what kind of crawler it is. Kind of curious how it does through this thicker. I never had stuff like this as a kid. Oh, wait a minute. That battery does not seem charged. It just doesn't seem like it has its normal power. Thing, man wow we definitely need to clean up this backyard <laughs> yeah look at that thing I still don't think this battery's charged. Eh, maybe it is. All right, let's let's do a little bashing. Let's see what kind of jump it can do. Even though this thing has four wheel steering, it's more of a gimmick. Um, it's just not very strong. You got one really old servo trying to turn four wheels and these things were known for, when it goes forward, the back wheels turn. And then when you go back backwards, the front wheels, it's really hard to get all four to turn. See, they got these, um, servo savers right here so as you can see it turns but it doesn't move the servo it tries to keep it from breaking the servo so it really can't even turn the wheels when it's on the ground it has to be moving but I'll tell you what man this for an old truck oh wow look at the yard back here Ooh. I need to get one of those uh, like DR pusher things that with the string or a blade or something and come out here and be able to maintain this. Either that or I'm just going to end up trying to get the lawnmower back here and bush hog. Nah, there ain't no way. Look at all this stuff. All these big tree limbs. I'll kill a lawnmower. So I mean, look at how jumpy it is, because this thing doesn't really have shocks. Those on here are just springs. The shocks have no oil. But speaking of, let's check it out. Let's make sure everything's uh, holding together. Just remember we replaced all these parts. So far, so good. Everything looks like it's holding together, and it should. I mean, I used to beat this thing up when I was a kid. Look at it pull the gorilla cart. Uh oh. Look at this. I broke the friggin' uh, 
steering knuckle here. What the heck? I wasn't even doing anything. I was just driving through the yard, but man, old plastic. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. This is broke, too. Oh. Dang, so no, I can't fix this. I was all happy. I was like, I have the part, but I don't. I need to get... Oh. I need to get this piece, too. Oh, come on, man. Look at that. This thing broke here, down here. So this whole thing, and then this piece here broke off of here. Wow. I, I'm glad I had to stand, but you know, I wasn't planning on having to use it this much. Oh, and oh, I'm pretty sure I don't have that part. I'm pretty sure I don't. Wah, wah, wah. I don't have the piece, but the good thing is my display case, I can still keep this in my room and not have the wheel on it. Oh, order another piece. All right, got the shop back. So there's one thing that absolutely drives me crazy about this workspace is that it's dirty. I uh, never really cleaned it. There's a bunch of spider webs and stuff around here and spiders. So we're gonna go ahead and vacuum all that up, get this thing cleaned up, and then we're gonna have a proper workspace. Real quick before I get into this, I got a little maintenance on some of the stuff out here I need to, that I want to do. This vise is like so hard to move in and out. Oh yeah, I can already feel big difference there. Yeah, like that. So there we go. That should help with that. Then I got this drawer that is like stuck. Oh yeah. Ah, the PV blaster still got stuff in it, but it's about dead. Ah, there we go. Alright, you won't be able to hear me with the AC on, but I gotta have the fan blowing on me, so I hope we can make a good compromise with that. Alright, let's see here. Before I start digging in the box, uh, I just want to talk about one thing here. Uh, one modification I already did is this roof rack here. And this helps protect the vehicle when it goes upside down and slides, and inevitably it will. Um, I actually emailed Tracks as customer support about that. Said, "Hey, from a customer, I said I don't think it's right that you charge ten dollars to buy this piece of plastic. Your flagship vehicle, the most expensive vehicle you sell, should come with this. The Rustler, other vehicles already have this installed." And then they said, well, "I'm not understanding." I said, well, let me rephrase this. You're selling your flagship vehicle, the most expensive vehicle you got and it said it's pathetic money grubbing move to charge us ten dollars to protect our vehicle with something that should have already came with so I'm a little pissed the tracks us about that but uh it's definitely a good piece and by adding this it really makes the whole thing rigid because you have this inner skeleton here right so you have two screws right here and then the rest of the screws are back here, which this thing here doesn't even bolt into about here. So here and up here. So this whole thing was moving and bouncing and everything. And uh, if you notice, this already has bosses in it for the screws. Uh, 
when the roof rack came, it said, hey, you must have part number 7713X. The roof rails with the uh, bosses in it to mount this. So I didn't have the truck yet. I didn't know it already had it, so I ordered this piece. <sighs> Freaking amazing. But anyhow, I guess if I break the frame in here, I have an extra piece. So that's how I got this. And that's this is really my fault for being impatient. I wanted to, you know, I pretty much wanted to have this day one when I got the truck and I did. Um, I mean, man, I, I already showed it in one of my other videos. You can already see the body of this thing has already taken a beating. So if you're looking for an X-Max, I really recommend that you get that uh, that brace for the body. Uh, it'll really just save the vehicle. I mean, I don't get it. It's such a beautiful vehicle, and then they don't put that on there. I mean, you are going to flip this thing. I mean, I'm pretty careful with this stuff, and I still flipped it. All right. <laughs> so that turned into a, like an eight-minute long unboxing, and honestly, it wasn't very entertaining, and I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody wanted to watch it. So I'm just going to show you the finished uh, product here a uh, couple parts up there an x-max bumper here's all my parts uh, <laughs> got an x-max bumper kit some extra a arms I got some spur pinion gears some cooling fans half shafts for this the rustler Every, I've seen a lot of people talk about how weak these are so and then also on the X-Max, one of the only problems anybody ever says it has is that the rear bearing area where the wheels come out is uh, the bearings are really weak. So they have this upgraded bearing. It's a lot larger bearing. So I'll be putting those on. Um, I have a few odds and ends, some parts. Because basically like here, if you run this thing into a wall or hit something, you end up breaking like these control arms or any of these suspension parts. A bad day so i have a few of those uh, and it's funny us uh, <clears throat> i was talking to ky chevy and i know that you recommend the pro line but buddy uh also i already actually had these shocks here i actually had them on order or they were actually already here so it's pretty cool they're blue they're the performance uh what are they xt or something shocks from uh traxxas because look look at this this is not very good. I'm not too happy with look at this thing. This whole spring just And a lot of people I saw on the forums complain like you hit a bump and this whole plastic collar pops off and they lose That and I mean honestly like the car just bottoms out. I think to me way too easily. So I got this uh, To help with the overheating issue. I have a heat sink. I have some fans going on there Here's a metal piece and a bearing that goes here into the uh, clutch transmission area uh, the one that's in there is plastic and I heard a lot of complaints about it overheating so I also have these pretty cool blue A-arms that are going to be going on the X-Max and the Trax and the uh, <laughs> and the Rustler uh, I just number one I just wanted backups I wanted spares of these parts because like I said if you run into something and break it then it's kind of like a bad day. These are supposed to be a little bit more durable, plus they're cool looking. So basically I'll have the original ones as spares, and if I do have to put one on, I'll order another blue one. But you know, in the meantime, the car will be working. I mean, yeah, it'll look odd. I'll have like a blue arm and a black arm, but I will have spares. And then uh, I got some tools. These are like ball hex drivers, and these are regular hex drivers. And then I also have these that go into a drill so there you have it I'm gonna save you like eight minutes of me just unboxing a bunch of stuff and that and just kind of showing you so I'm gonna be doing uh, a whole video modifying the uh, rustler so maybe be interested in that maybe not <laughs> I don't know but I'm gonna be doing a, a whole video so I really want to get this one dialed in so, there you have it what do you think what do you think of the store Anything in the store over here. God, the wife sees us on the bed.
time to wrap up the video, but we gotta give a little content for everybody. So the women out there on my channel love watching the garden flower updates. Look at this. That's corn, man. Look at the size. Look at that. Corn. Dude, man, I'm over six foot. Look at that thing. <laughs> All right. Um, not much going on this side. There is a cool flower over here. I don't know what it is, but I'll show you real quick. It just opened up today. Oh, this is stink bugs that she don't like. There's flowers here in front of the house. This has got all this. I mean, the hummingbirds love this purple. Look at these things. I'm always bad about panning too fast, so I'm trying to learn to film that. <laughs> I've been doing this for about five years and I still haven't. So, been some changes out here to the garden. Uh, I'm not even sure what, I think these are cucumbers or something. But, holy moly, look at that thing. But look, we got some flowers. This is all I think to draw some pollinators into the area. And she's got more tomatoes or something growing here. She's got this stuff. Uh, we got some eggplants. Uh, we've been having a lot of rain, so she's trying to protect stuff from rot here. And sun shading sorry guys i really don't know what she's got going on there some okra and some of this stuff here so, and she's at a new table an umbrella cat says hi <laughs> uh oh wow look at the red peppers there holy moly Oh, look at that thing. Right there. Wow. That's huge. Um, on that, yeah, guys, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at here. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's about it. That's about it for the garden uh, update. Like I said, uh, she's added four beds over there. Two of them, like I said, you've seen are... are the tarps are on there to try to protect it from the rain and that and uh just trying to protect some of it from the sun it's just been kind of kind of really hot and rainy here lately so all right everyone got some more rc parts so uh appreciate uh you guys still watching all that even if rc cars aren't your thing i know this is like way off from where i ever started the channel but you know we were cars coffee life still are this is life so you know playing my rc cars now just something to do keep me occupied all right everyone thanks for watching don't forget discount codes and some shopping opportunities for you down below please check all that out thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't and hopefully we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching